welcome dear students welcome to this session in this session i am going to give a clarity regarding to the subject called history regarding to the subject called history for your pre as well as for your mains so before going into these details myself j sumanth one of the faculty in upsc guide teaching history with experience of 7 years the experience of 7 years teaching general part as well as the optional part of history okay so that is a short introduction that sufficient i think so so now coming to the importance of the history subject in both the sections that were preliminary section as well as the main section see recent and past okay you take past 6 years of question papers 6 years of question papers the importance of history you can understand it it is going to play a very important role why i'll tell you even if you take the average even if you take the average of 6 years of question papers in preliminary context basically you are going to get 18 questions taking the minimum i am not saying 22 questions 20 questions okay taking minimum even you can reduce even you can say the least possibility is around 15 questions in your preliminary section okay and if it is 18 to 15 questions in your preliminary section that means it is going to be around 36 to 30 marks look at this value 36 to 30 marks every mark is a very important context in the section of preliminary examination every every mark every mark is very important and 36 to 30 marks from one single subject that means you can understand the importance of history and unfortunately people having a misconception and also misunderstanding regarding to the subject called history regarding to the subject called history people lots of people who uh, i am not speaking about the people who were preparing from long back because now they understood history has a different meaning okay but lots of students who are doing their academic who are preparing who are thinking to pre prepare this examination they used to have fear regarding to this subject expecting that history is such a subject where they need to remember number of battles number of names number of names but this is completely a wrong perception please arise this perception regarding to this particular subject and upsc is beyond of this they are never expecting what battle what name until unless it has some great 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 importance otherwise upsc will not ask that upsc will not ask that keep this in your mind very important very important okay so history basically upsc is looking for the cultural aspect this is the most important most important particularly in the section of ancient and medieval upsc is primarily looking for the cultural aspect you may ask me a question sir what comes under cultural aspect every dimension which was associated like society economy economy of that particular ages don't think that economy we had another subject as well right okay economy of ancient india during different ages mauryan economy post mauryan economy okay and i am not saying that you need to go for very deepest understanding of it first of all you need to have the basic content of understanding that will help you for your preliminary examination so economy if any religious aspect religious aspect okay and administrative aspect under the political polity head so these are the different cultural dimensions which were very important for history 
primarily for prelims as well as for mains as well as for mains examination try to understand this essence once you understand this essence of getting into the subject what to read and what not to read half of your preparation will be done unfortunately people will rush students will rush i i want to learn these i want to get this book i want to get this text notes material everything you'll rush you'll rush instead of understanding the importance instead of understanding the essence what is the purpose of running behind of everything so that's the reason try to get an idea a clarity regarding to what to read and what not to read and in our in our gs foundation course of 2023 which is available in our portal which is available in our portal this is in okay upsc guide dot in and lots of students are aware of my teaching my teaching style how i am going to cover all these things they are well aware but this video particularly for new new entries who are very much interested to get some information and to get some preparation part to get some mentorship all these things right so i am giving information regarding to this particular course what is the role of history in preliminary standard and also mean standard i told you the importance in preliminary standard okay now coming to the mains standard again always i used to suggest you to go for previous years question papers of 5 to 6 years you may ask me a question sir why not 15 years of question papers why not 20 years of question paper why not 30 years of question paper well and good in your mains answer writing uh, practices you can go for 10 years of question papers and 15 years of question papers because you'll get lot of questions and you'll practice that is a good thing but why i'm telling 6 years of question papers means because of the reason from past 6 years there is lot of changes upsc is thinking from other side from other side that's the reason time and again time and again not only in this video in lots of my live session also i guided my students number of students in different places delhi vijayawada hyderabad bangalore chennai tirupati in various regions i guide my students first of all to go for syllabus and the past years question papers because they used to guide you they used to guide you what is the approach of upsc and what is upsc is looking for and how the question framing is there okay so if you take again past year question papers for mains also you'll get around 70 marks this is the minimum it can be fluctuated three questions three questions of 150 words three questions of 250 words three questions of 150 words Three questions of two fifty marks, seventy marks, seventy marks from a single paper. Not only that, this history subject will help you to understand the international relations. Presently, you know the issue going between Russia and Ukraine. That background basically makes you from understanding of the historical. people will think in single dimension only that is the problem with the students whenever i used to talk whenever i used to go for mentorship programs they are used to interact with the students they always have one single perception history only they used to look into that narrow boundary itself it's not about narrow boundary try to connect with the other areas as well then your preparation will become very easier unfortunately that will not be done by student that is the problem i tell you so history will help you to understand international relations history also give also gives the background of your political building that what polity our constitution will start with the historical background the different laws framed by the english east india company later on the crown rule okay what were the aspect what were the acts what is 1773 act speaking 
Okay, what is 1784 is speaking? What is 1813 speaking? 33 speaking? Okay, all these buildings will start with the background of history. History helping itself and also helping indirectly to understand the other subjects as well. Not only that, even it helps you to make you to understand the internal security. The internal security is also one of the important area. Okay, so history directly helping in preliminary context, also helping in the mains context and also indirectly helping to understand IR, quality and inter, in, internal security. Internal security. So, these are the important aspect of history. Okay. And the role of means and the role of prelims. I given, I given just an average value of 6 years. Average value of 6 years. Even it can be fluctuated to high 23 questions, 20 questions, 21 questions, sometimes even 13 questions also. That's the reason I'm telling you the average value was given here. Okay. This is the story of prelim role and the mains role. Okay, coming to, sir, what you are going to cover here in this GS Foundation course of 2020 through 23 in our platform, how you are going to teach? See, we used to have the live interaction sessions, live interaction sessions, ancient, along with the ancient associated with the culture. I want to take art and culture as separate. I'll take it. I am not saying that I will not take that model completely. I will take it, that model as well. Along with that, what I used to do, I will merge ancient as well as cultural dimension in the discussion of ancient module itself. Sir, why you are doing like that? What is the reason? What is the purpose of doing like that? See, when I am giving the background of ancient India, if I bring the cultural aspect regarding to that area, which will fit exactly in that zone, which will help you to understand in a broader way. It can help you in preliminary examination and cultural aspect, dimension of means. Okay, recently they asked about the literature, how the literary, uh, literature is going to help to understand the things. Okay, so I used to associate, I used to merge the content of discussion in such a way, ancient as well as cultural dimension. We used to take around 12 to 15 sessions. Each session of 2 hours to 2 and half hours, right? And in the last 15 minutes of uh, session ending, in, a, in, in around 15 minutes, I used to open for a doubt session and we used to discuss the doubts and the queries of the uh, different students. And we used to cover from fundamental. Even in the sessions of discussions, I used to give the different preliminary questions of that particular concept. If we are discussing Buddhism, I used to frame some questions or else I used to ask the previous of the previous the previous years of questions which was asked from that particular model. That's how our discussion will go regarding to ancient as well as medieval. So even when you are discussing medieval, I used to attach with some cultural elements along with the medieval, along with the culture and modern, a very important, a very important for both the prelims and mains. That's the reason I used to take around 25 to 30 sessions. 25 to 30 sessions which were covering lots of information in modern. Every important aspect will be covered in the modern module. Because of the reason it has a great importance in prelims as well as mains. Okay. And after doing more to modern, we used to go for world and also for post-independence. This, this is the things we are going to cover in our course, GS Foundation course of 2020, life and interactions, right? At the same time, even sometimes I used to give questions in our class sessions itself. And I used to permit them to send to my mail ID for the purpose of verification and evaluation. So, this how our teaching, our, our style of discussion will be carried regarding to ancient, medieval, modern, world and also post-independence India. Sir, you forgot art and culture. No, I did not forget it. I will write separately saying art and culture. For this also, I used to take around the 10 to 15 sessions. Sometimes even more if the students are very much interested. 
I used to discuss long hours as well regarding to art and culture. Every aspect from again ancient, medieval, modern, architectural development, cultural development, educational institutions, everything, very whatever we used to feel in the context of UPSC examination, every important dimension and aspect will be covered in art and culture. So this is our course details as well as my details as well as the importance of history in prelims and mains examination. Examination. To enroll, even you are getting the scholarship test as well in our portal. Portal. You can go there and you can enroll it. Okay, you can get it. Okay, and also you will get a detailed description of our courses in the portal itself. Right. So this is about the things. Okay. If any doubts, you can uh, you can just contact with the admins or you can just uh, uh, discuss with the, the representative person uh, who used to give uh, information regarding to this particular course. Okay, thank you. Prepare well. All the best.